The channel strip presents live mix processing controls for instant access in a familiar analog layout. It is the primary interface for live mixing on most surfaces. The smaller 80 surface does not include the dynamics and due to its size the smallest R72 does not include any of the processing controls. However the touch screen always provides full access to all parameters and displays additional graphical and setup information. To access the channel processing we use the select key. Make sure the touch screen is not in surface, mix rack or name and colour mode. Every channel has a preamp control, a HPF, gate, PEQ, compressor, limiter, de delay and insert capability. This replaces the large racks of outboard equipment that typically accompany analogue mixers. iLive has a huge amount of DSP power to make its processing available to all the channels all the time. In key switch the processing in each section in or out. The green indicator lights when the processing is active. Metering including gain reduction remains present so you can check the effect or a processor before switching it in. Select keys open the relevant processing screen view, an alternative to touching the screen. If you press and hold down a processing section select key, you can listen to the signal at the point in the signal chain through the PAFL bus. These select keys are also used to copy and paste and reset sections of the channel signal processing. Signal meters are presented throughout the signal path. The three dynamics processor threshold controls feature signal meters that display beneath the pointer on the LED dial so you can quickly see where to set the control. Let's start with the preamp section. Here you can select the input source from the channel from the device drop down menu and press apply to confirm. This lets you rearrange your patch according to how things are plugged up on the stage. Split signals into two or more channels. Select from remote sources such as EtherSound, MADI or ACE, mic split and more. Controls for preamp gain and trim, polarity reverse, pad and 48 volt phantom power are presented if a mic line input is selected. These remotely control the analog head amp in the mix rack or expander. Trim and polarity controls are after the A to D converter and are part of the DSP channel processing. To select phantom power using the processing block, hold down the 48 volt key for one second. This is to protect against accidental operation. Two switches are provided in this section to provide a solution for gain sharing when one preamp is digitally split between two consoles. Preamp on surface places the main preamp analog gain control on the control strip. Trim on surface places the digital trim control instead to give each operator an independent gain. By default preamps are included in the channel safe function and if a channel is made safe from scene recalls the key will be illuminated and all channel attributes will be protected. However, with iLive it is possible to share input preamps across a number of channels and in that case you may wish to override the safe settings for the preamp. When a preamp is assigned to multiple channels the screen will provide access to a list of the channels sharing the preamp. The preamp section includes a sweep frequency high pass filter with in out switch and a sweep from 20Hz to 400Hz. Touch the name box to enter a 5 character channel name or use the quick menu view to store and recall commonly used terms. Touch the colour box to select the colour of the channel LCD display. The noise gate provides a full set of controls and signal metering as you would find on a top grade outboard processor. The sidechain filter may be switched in or out or self keyed or keyed from another input with an associated range of 8 DSP channels. Use the control or screen to set the threshold, depth, hold time and dynamics. A screen histogram displays the gate activity over time. In the insert view, a physical input and output socket may be assigned as an insert send and return for a channel if outboard processing is required. Simply select the socket to use in the operating level. The equaliser is a four band fully parametric with cut boost sweep frequency and width controls per band. The HF and LF bands may be switched as shelving, bell or pass type filters. The touch screen gives the graphical view of the EQ curve and alternative data entry using touch and drag or the screen encoder. The frequency range of each band has been carefully chosen to provide good resolution with appropriate overlaps 
but if you prefer to have each band sweepable from 20Hz to 20kHz, you can select this option in the Mix Rack Setup Mixer Preference screen. The Fill option shades the curve to show the effect of each band of the EQ. The curve line displays the net effect of the four EQ bands with the high pass filter curve overlaid on top. The EQ curve is coloured yellow for EQ in and grey for EQ out. The 12 dB octave high pass filter can be operated from either the preamp page or the PEQ page. The compressor provides a full set of traditional controls and signal metering. A sidechain filter can be self keyed or keyed from one of the seven adjacent channels. Use the controls or screen to set the threshold, ratio and makeup gain. Typically the makeup gain is set so that the average signal level is similar whether the compressor is switched in or out. The soft knee function softens the effect of the compressor around the threshold point. The dynamics may be manually adjusted using the attack and release controls or set for auto function with a drop down menu to select the type of compressor required. These high quality algorithms are careful emulations of industry standard units. Choose between iLive Peak, iLive RMS, Vocal, Punch Bag, Music AGC, Speech, 16T and Opti Slow. Parallel compression can be enabled using the wet and dry control to give you that famous New York compression. The histogram shows how the compressor has affected the signal over a period of time. The limiter or deesser is the last of the three dynamic processors available on every input channel. It can be used either as a limiter to stop the threshold level being exceeded or as a deesser to filter out the sibilance of a vocal source. In limiter mode, the input signal is superimposed on the threshold display dial for quick setting. The limiter includes a sidechain filter for frequency selective limiting, gain reduction, output meters and a histogram. In deesser mode the threshold display becomes a yellow bar rather than a dot and the threshold controls adjust the amount of attenuation at the frequency set. Use the ESS control to adjust the frequency and find and tune out the sibilance. The delay page is accessed by touching the delay tab in the top view processing screen. This shows the delay settings for all inputs so you can check and adjust the values relative to each channel. The screen rotary control has acceleration so that you can make big changes by spinning it fast and fine adjustments by turning it slowly. The setup tab lets you view the settings as feet, meters or milliseconds. Maximum input channel delay is 170 milliseconds.